This series of lessons are about the human body. Today's read aloud is called The Amazing Human Body. Do you like to eat? What we eat makes a big difference to the health of our bodies. This domain will focus on the best foods to eat and how the body processes those foods to keep us healthy. Do you know what the meaning of the word healthy is? It means not infected with disease or things that promote or indicate good health. Can you name some of the different body systems? You may have listed the skeletal system, maybe the muscular system or the circulatory system, maybe even the nervous system or the digestive system. Well, today we're going to review the functions of these body systems. And we're also going to learn ways that you can help to make sure that your body systems continue to run smoothly. Listen carefully to find out why the human body is sometimes called the human machine. Let's take a look at some vocabulary words in our read aloud today. The first word is nutrition. The process of supplying the body with the proper foods for growth, nourishment. The next word is organs. Body parts that perform specific jobs within body systems. And the last word is system. A set of connected parts that work together to perform a job. Let's begin. Hello everybody, my name is Nick Nutri and I am a nutritionist. Does anyone know what that means? Nutritionists study nutrition, or in other words, the ways in which our bodies get the food they need to grow and stay healthy. Nutritionists learn what is in our food and how our bodies use it. I work with doctors to help children understand what they need to do to take care of their bodies. One of the first things a nutritionist studies is the human body. It's important to understand how the body works in order to know what it needs to do its job well. Dr. Wellbody tells me that you already know a lot about the human body. Stand up and let's take a look at the body parts that we can see. Where is your skin? It's all over you, isn't it? Skin covers your head, your face, your neck, your chest, your tummy, arms, legs, hands, and feet, everything. Your skin is a stretchy, waterproof covering that protects you from germs and helps control your body temperature. Just beneath your skin are tiny little receptors, part of your nervous system that travel to your brain. You can't see them, but they tell your brain what is touching your skin and your brain reacts to the touch. Some touches, like petting a dog, can be very positive, while others, like touching a hot stove, can be quite painful. Touch is one of your five senses. Who can name the other four senses to help you get information about your surroundings? Oh, Dr. Wellbody was right. You do know a lot. Touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing are your five senses. Let's sit down and find out what you already know about your body. Where is your sense of taste located? Right, in your mouth. Your tongue is covered with taste buds that allow you to taste the differences between sweet, salty, bitter, and sour foods. They also warn you of danger from hot foods or other things that may harm your body. Did you know that your sense of smell is connected to your sense of taste? That's why some things don't taste the same to you when you have a cold. What part of your body is affected the most when you have the sniffles? Yes, your nose. And look how close your nose is to your mouth. It makes sense that they are connected, doesn't it? Just above your nose are your eyes. 
Which of your senses do they control? Sight, of course. Your eyes are responsible for what you see. Vision lets you know the size and shape of an object, how near or far it is, and how fast it is moving. That's a lot of information. Some people have problems seeing correctly, but fortunately, they are able to have many other problems corrected by wearing glasses or contact lenses. Okay, we've named four of the five senses, touch, taste, smell, and sight. The last one is hearing. What do you use to hear? Your ears, of course. Your ears catch and change sound waves into nerve signals that travel to your brain. Your ears not only help you hear, but they also help you keep your balance. Some people are born deaf, and some others develop deafness later in life. Hearing aids often help them hear better. Look around you. You all have skin. You all have eyes and noses and mouths and ears. But do you all look the same? Certainly not. You may look different on the outside, different colors of skin, hair and eyes, different heights and weights. But what lies underneath your skin is all pretty much the same. You have already learned that your body is a collection of many different systems, each with its own job to do. Does anyone remember the names of any body systems? What is your skin wrapped around? What gives your body its shape? Your skeleton. Your skeleton is part of the skeletal system, including your bones and joints. It supports your body and protects your body's internal or inside organs. Can you find your ribs? Your tough rib bones cover your soft heart and lungs. Together with your muscular system, your skeletal system helps your body move. The respiratory system is in charge of how your body breathes air into your lungs to supply your body with oxygen. The circulatory system pumps blood from the heart and carries it to all parts of your body. The nervous system is the body's main control center, carrying messages to and from the brain. Do any of these systems sound familiar to you? Although all of the body systems are important, the two that interest me the most are the digestive system and the excretory system. That's because they are the ones most responsible for the food that enters and leaves your body. You get nutrients from the food you eat, and I want to make sure that your body gets the nutrients it needs. The digestive system carries food to your stomach and small intestines, where it breaks down food into fuel to give the body the energy it needs to live. Food that your body can't digest moves into the large intestine and is released as solid waste. The excretory system removes liquid waste from the body. We are going to talk about these two systems a lot more another day. People often compare the human body to a machine with lots of movable parts working together. Most of the time, your body systems work well together, but just like machines, Sometimes things break down. Germs may get inside your body and cause illnesses. The body fights off germs within the body, but sometimes the body's defenses are not enough. As a baby, you may have received vaccinations to help prevent diseases that were once common among children. Vaccines, or the medicine in a vaccination, are inactive or weakened germs harmless to people that are often injected into your body. These dead or weakened germs trick the body into thinking that it is becoming infected or getting sick, so the body figures out how to fight off that infection. The body then knows how to fight off an infection of that kind in the future. 
If you are vaccinated against diseases like measles or mumps, you will likely not get those diseases. The human body is truly an amazing machine. You carry your body with you wherever you go. Whether you are reading, eating, playing ball, or sleeping, your body continues to work to keep you healthy. It is important for you to do your part too. What are some of the things that you can do to take care of your body? Germs are everywhere. How can you help your body fight off germs? Washing your hands with soap and water is one of the most important things that you can do. Make sure that you wash often, throughout every day and especially before you eat. Clean the rest of your body with regular baths and shampoos too. Cleanliness is very important to your body's health. How often have you heard an adult say, eat your fruits and veggies? I told you that I am a nutritionist. That means that good nutrition is very important to me. Eating the right foods is important for good health and that means eating lots of fruits and veggies. It is so important that your body gets the proper nutrients to keep its marvelous machine running smoothly. Exercise goes hand in hand with healthy eating. The food you eat supplies your body with the energy it needs to exercise its muscles. By walking, running, and playing ball, you help your body stay lean and fit. Getting enough rest and having regular checkups with healthcare professionals are both important as well. In the following lessons, we will talk about all of these things. Taking care of your body is more than just keeping your fingers crossed and hoping you will be healthy. By the time you finish these lessons, you will know a lot of ways you can help your body stay strong and healthy. Next time we're together, I'm going to tell you about one of my heroes, a man named Anton Van Leeuwenhoek. Anton Van Leeuwenhoek is from a country called Holland, and he was Dutch, which is what you call someone from Holland, which today is part of the country known as the Netherlands. Anton was named for where he lived in Holland. The name of his street was Lionsgate, and his house stood on the corner. The word for lion is Dutch, is lay, and the word for corner is huk. Thus, his name is Anton, who lives on the corner of Lionsgate. Naming people in such a way was not uncommon when Anton was born, nearly 400 years ago. I can't wait to tell you why he is my hero, but I'll save that for the next time. Here are some discussion questions. Feel free to pause the video in order to allow time to think and discuss. What is the name of the body system that processes the food that you eat? What is the name of the system that removes liquid waste from your body? What are the other body systems? Why does a nutritionist need to understand the human body? When you eat a sandwich, which body senses do you use? And what are the body parts associated with each sense? Sometimes when you have a cold, you lose your appetite. What other sense working together with your sense of taste could affect your appetite. Many people have their eyes examined by an eye doctor if they have trouble seeing correctly. What might the eye doctor suggest to help them? Washing your hands is an important way to fight germs but sometimes doctors inject weakened germs into your body on purpose. Why do they do this and what is it called? Nick Nutri is a nutritionist. He helps people learn about nutrition, making the right food choices to keep their bodies working well. 
Do you think this is an important job? Why or why not?